Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com, and today what I'm talking about is the complete snook fishing tackle box. I should have named it something different. It should have been the complete slot size and above snook fishing tackle box for the minimalists. And what I'm going to teach you is just all of the lures you need. You just don't need more than this. They all work. Trust me, when it comes to snook, they, they're not very picky most of the time. You can catch them on spinnerbaits. You can catch them on bass frogs. You can catch them on bass worms. You can catch, you, you can catch them on gold spoons, silver spoons. There's a lot of things you can catch a snook with as far as artificials go. But what I'm telling you right now is the best that you could use if you had to just pick a few and let's say you were fishing in a 24-hour tournament snook tournament so I'm gonna cover sunrise all day sunset night and we're gonna learn all the different lures that you need okay paddle tails you gotta have paddle tails in there you're also gonna need some sort of top water and you're also gonna need a flare hawk jig so those are the three. Let's cover them right now. All right, it's first thing in the morning. Sunrise. You're gonna want something like this. Doesn't matter. That one's not all right. Doesn't matter what brand, really, if you ask me. Uh, I've used them all and they all work. This is a Zara Spook. Um, they just work. It's a walk the dog type of lure. It's just gonna zigzag across the top. Great lure, especially when they're in super skinny water that it's going to be really hard for you to fish anything but a top water in without getting snagged up or in the grass or something like that. There are plenty of brands out there. There's some skitter walks in there from Rapala, uh, a couple of those, but it doesn't matter. I like mirror lure. That's another good one. You just want to pick something like that. That is going to be your first thing you're pitching in the morning for big snow. And you can go big with these. You can do uh, Zara Super Spook, so the bigger ones, right? Okay, now it's daytime. Well, you really only need a couple different sizes and a couple different colors. So you're gonna need something that's gonna be a four inch. This is actually a four and three quarters inch. This is a new um, bait company. I met the guy that, that runs it, and <laughs> come to find out he's just a few miles down the street from me, so I'm, I'm using his stuff. Uh, I like it because they're in between sizes. It's called Heavy Artillery Baits. Doesn't even have an online store yet. You gotta go to Facebook if you wanna get some of these. But I like them because they're in between sizes. Most of the big ones have three inch, four inch, five inch, whatever. This is three and three quarters, and these are four and three quarters, and I love that because a lot of times, you're just a little bit off when you're trying to match the hat. But okay, let's say the water's clean or just a little bit dirty. You just got to go with white. You just do. It's the color that works. It's got white or something light anyways. And the chartreuse tail really adds a little bump to it every now and again. But you go solid white, whatever. Just something really light for clean water conditions. And I like purpley stuff. So... This is a June bug. Here's some purpley and some uh, just clear uh, root beer, whatever it is. You know, that's what you want to fish if the water's dirty. So like right now, we just had a bunch of rain, so the water's real gross, actually. It's hard, real murky. So the darker, the darker paddle tails are going to do better. Why a paddle tail? Well, it's great for covering ground. You can rig a weedless. I like these. These are from Bass Pro Shops. Rig them weedless. You can add a, a pinch weight to the bottom if you need more weight or even add, you know, just like your bass fish and set it up like a Texas rig if you need to to catch these bass. But that's just a great, great bait to fish just about any scenario that you have. All day long you can fish that bait and maximize on the snow. Now, nighttime. Nighttime is the right time to catch the biggest snook you'll ever catch, probably. Uh, that's when the big girls really kind of let down their guard a little bit, and it's your best shot at catching a big <laughs> snook. I'm talking 40 inches, maybe more. Uh, it's going to be at night. And the undisputed champion of nighttime snook fishing is the Flare Hawk Jig. 
It just is. It just is. You know, you I mean there's other stuff that catches them, terror eyes and big thing big terror eyes and those ones catch tons of snook at night. There's a, there's a lot of other things. But in a head-to-head -head competition, it is very, very hard to beat the flare hawk snook jig. You need something like this for the clean water, something white. Hope you can see that. And you want something chartreuse uh, when the water's a little dirtier. Pink is another good one uh, that you can go with for uh, clean water. But here you go. You don't need but a few sizes. Not much uh, tight at all. Go with a one ounce. One and a half ounce is kind of the everything size. And then if it's a deeper structure that you're fishing on, you know, deep bridge with a lot of current or something like that, you know, with all that structure, getting it down there, you might need a two ounce uh, jig to get down there. So let me show you my favorite setup that I fish with snook. So right here, this is a spin fisher. You know, I got away from pen for a while. I thought they kind of lost their way, but they have found their way back with this for sure. This is the spin fisher. It's the old series. It's the five. They have the six now. It's sealed. If you are going to be fishing out of a kayak or on the beach, especially where sand or water can get in your reel, use this. They're like 150, 60 bucks. So they're kind of expensive, but they're sealed. You just never have a problem with them. Great drag, great everything. And I use ugly sticks. Uh, I just always have, I'm sure there's better rods. This one's gotta be 15 years old, you can tell. I'm not a very, very careful when I put the guides back on there. <laughs> so this is pretty old, but I, I like them, I just do. This is a medium heavy, it pairs up nicely. If you were, you know, fishing for these larger fish, if you're just fishing the flats for smaller ones, you can go with a medium or even medium light. So that's up to you. Uh, I would suggest always having 30 pound uh, liter at least. Now when you're fishing at night, you can beef up your liter. It's a re reaction bite. They're probably not even gonna uh, see it. So you can go 40, 50, even 60 pounds. Some people do. I even know people that use wire liter instead of uh, mono fishing uh, jigs at night just because it's a reaction bite at night. But if you're gonna go somewhere deep and have big fish around deep structure, you might want to step up. You're probably going to need a 5,000 series, maybe even a 5,500 series, maybe even 6,000 series, depending on your conditions. And then you'd have to beef up the braid to a 20 or 30 pound braid, something like that, to really dig these fish out of some of that structure. And uh, you know, get to the, get the land these oversized snook that are going to be out there with your target. But that's it. That's the minimalist tackle box for snook. That's, that's all you need. You need to walk the dog for morning and sunset. And then you need paddle tails. You can fish them all day. Set them up weedless. Put a jig head on them. Whatever you do. Nighttime. It's all about flare hawk snook jigs. That's it. That's all you need. Simple tackle box. I hope this helps. I hope you catch more snook. And until next time, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.